and welcome to the Ministry of Magical Unboxings. I'm Stephanie, and... Oh, what? Oh, do you want to say hi, too? Okay. This here is my bunny, Lewis. He is my familiar, being a witch, and we are both in Slytherin. That's his and my personality. And today we are unboxing the High Street Owl Post box. I'm super excited because this is a family owned company and they make you kind of feel like part of the family when you're their customer, which is fantastic because I have kind of experienced some companies before that aren't exactly as nice. So let's dig into the box. I wanna go play. Okay, okay. Okay. So a couple things before we dig into the box. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And please leave your thoughts below in the comments because I would really like to hear what everyone thinks. And lastly, look in my description for a link to High Street Owl Post so that you can go and get yourself a subscription box as well. Now, this subscription box was gifted to me for my completely honest review, so let's get into it. Okay, this is the April 2019 High Street Owl Post box, and it's like Hogwarts slash Hogwarts is my home box. Um, I really like that they put their logo stamped on the box because it makes it very personalized and unique to them. Also, it, they put magical monthly deliveries on the side, which is always nice because everyone loves a magical monthly delivery. In our box, we have Shred. My bunnies love Shred because they love like digging in it and playing in it and it makes them really happy. Like little Lewis, he adores it. Also, I really like that they put green in here because I'm a Slytherin, so they really customized it to the person. A lot of thought put in and I appreciate that. Alrighty. Ooh, shred everywhere. Okay. Our first item here comes in a little burlap sack and it's got a little card on it and it says while you are at Hogwarts your triumphs will earn you house points while any rule breaking will lose points. And oh it has a second side. It says 50 points from Slytherin for dressing up as Dementors in an attempt to sabotage the Gryffindor Seeker. That's cute. I really like that. Okay. In our little burlap sack, we have... Oh! Okay. It is a house points necklace, which I'm very excited about. I really want to wear it because I have never really seen a house points necklace before. And I also appreciate that this is a small, like, delicate almost pendant and not like a big gaudy one because I'm all for the tiny delicate necklaces. This is what it looks like up close. Oops, sorry, it's waving. And it has a little S for Slytherin on it. Oops, hold on. There we go. Little S for Slytherin on it. And it's very attractive and adorable. And I am so excited to wear it in my next video. Next in here, we have Unicorn Blood Bubble Bath. It is two ounces. It is from Love Good Bath Potions. They're an Etsy shop, so go check them out. And I really, oh, oh, it's glittery. Oh, it looks almost exactly like Unicorn Blood. I love that. There was a lot of thought put into this. It's kind of glittery. If you can see that, I don't know if you can. I'm very sorry if you can't. And then here is our little label on it. Very attractive and cute. I'm super excited for this because I love bubble baths and cannot wait to try it because I have not had a Harry Potter themed bath yet. That is a goal. Okay, this, it's in its own little bag, which is really nice because it is a soap. It is Mr. Mole Pepper's Apothecary Cauldron Bubbles Hand Soap Prefects Bathroom Specialty Blend. And it's a generously sized bar. Let's see. 
this is it smells very nice it has a floral scent to it but it's not a grandma floral scent it's like a nice fresh floral scent which is kind of hard to get because whenever you do floral it tends to smell like grandma mm. I really like this here is a little label for the soup and here is the back side I really like how it definitely looks like cauldron bubbles like I adore it It also it kind of smells like maybe some coconut or honeysuckle or something is in there. Yeah. Oh, okay, it comes with a little card. Oh, it's a handcrafted soap. Oh, it does have coconut. Rose petals and honeysuckle. That's definitely where I am getting the floral scent and stuff from. I do, again, really appreciate that it was in its own bag to contain its scent to itself and not get over everything else in my box. Let's see, this, this is a small little bottle I have here. It says, Powdered Spine of Lionfish from Slug and Jiggers on Diagon Alley. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a little potion ingredient. Oh, I'm so excited. I have my own potion ingredient now. It looks kind of sparkly. I like that. I can so display this with all of my other Harry Potter stuff. I'm so excited to have my own potion. Little potion ingredient. But here is our little label on the bottle. And if maybe you can see some of the detailing of it. Kind of. I am so, so excited to put this on display though. I really, really like it. We have in here a magnet. And it has, it says, shan't say nothing if you don't say please. Oh, it's Peeves. Okay, it's Peeves the Poltergeist. This is what our little magnet looks like. I love that because you never see Peeves appear in like any of the Harry Potter stuff that you get, subscription boxes, you know, anything like that. Like he's just kind of forgotten because he's only in the books. So I appreciate one that they kind of take, took things from the books and applied it to this box. And two, that Peeves is in here because he's never in anywhere. So, and that it's a magnet because you don't really get magnets very often in subscription boxes either. Next we have a decal. It is a decal. It is a house house decal. It says Smitherin on it. And if you had gotten this box, you would have gotten your house's de or, um, crest. Sorry. I am very excited for this. I love decals because I love decorating my laptop in a very tasteful Slytherin way. So I am super excited to use this and put it on my laptop. And you also don't really see decals in subscription boxes very often. A lot of the times you just have to find it in a store or something. Okay, I am so excited to try this one. This is Hagrid's Blend Tea. Earl Grey de la Creme. Black tea and cornflour with vanilla and bergamot. This is what our package looks like. Okay, oh. So you see these brewing instructions down here and how they're like being cast? It's like it's cast from Hagrid's wand because his wand is that umbrella, which is so awesome. And I love how that there, there was thought put into that. And also, it's got the little tea kettle on it like Hagrid has in his hut when he's pouring them tea. I absolutely adore this. Cannot wait to try it with my aunt. And we'll most likely do a video of it in action. So keep a lookout for that. Okay, this, it's a recipe for treacle tarts, which is so cool. Um, oh, and it has two sides to it. It says House Elves Cookbook from the Kitchens of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. 
And then here is the recipe side. I really like this. It's very cute. And it really does feel like it would be a recipe you would find in Hogwarts. It looks like it. I also appreciate that there's a recipe because now I can bring a little bit of Hogwarts home to me here because I can't go there. I'm excited to make this. Ooh. Maybe I'll do a video of this one too. Ooh, that would be so, so fun. All right, this, this is a little tin. It has Dumbledore on it in his Funko form, which I adore because I love Funkos. And it says Headmaster's Office. Here's what our tin looks like. And, ooh, it's a candle. Oh my gosh. It has a sherbet lemon scent. It is super fresh and clean lemon scent, not musky or anything. I love this because I love, love citrus. Also, I love how there was thought put into it because it has, ooh, because it's headmaster's office and it being sherbet lemon scented, that's also the password to his office. So again, a lot of thought put into it, which is so awesome and so appreciated because I just get so excited for these things. Ugh. Okay, and it looks like the last thing in here maybe is fabricy. And oh, come on, shred it. It is. Ooh, it's a t-shirt, okay. Oh, okay. It says, Hogwarts is my home. I love that because isn't Hogwarts home to every Potterhead? Also, I don't believe I have ever seen this t-shirt anywhere else. Usually, I mean like t-shirts, you can kind of find the designs other places too. I believe this is exclusive to this box because I have not seen it, and I absolutely adore it. So, oh, a little card in here from Love Good Bath Potions that are on Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you put in the code POTTERHEAD, you can get 20% off your next order. And, oh. This, this is a little note, I think. Oh, it's a personalized note from Hagrid, which is so adorable and just wraps up the box all together and definitely makes me feel like this box is almost like a care package or something I would get while I'm at Hogwarts. I love they thought of like everything here I so love it okay so our box contains 10 items and if we do a super quick like price eval of it our necklace here would probably be about $15 because again I have never seen anything like it and also those are typically, that's typically the price of um, a necklace maybe at Hot Topic or something, which is where I often shop. <laughs> the bubble bath, it being two ounces, I would say it's about three dollars, um, but also I think I would have appreciated a larger size, but then again I love baths, so it could just be me. Our soap. This soap is handcrafted and still smells amazing. I would guess maybe, maybe $8 for this bar of soap. And this is a bar of soap where like you could probably cut it into little squares or something so that it could last for a really, really long time and you don't have to use it up all at once or for like a super long time if you just wanna use it for a little while and then, you know, again at a later
later time. Our little potion ingredient here, because of his size, I would say about $3. Decor items tend to be, you know, around that, but I so love that it's a potion ingredient because now I have my own potion ingredient. <laughs> Peas. Peas would probably be approximately $5 because magnets tend to get pretty pricey. And I so love that I cannot really find him anywhere else that he came in this box. This guy would be about $5. That tends to be what decals run in stores and stuff, which I have seen before. Tea has kind of a fluctuating price. So black teas, and this I'm guessing is approximately a two ounce pouch, would be about $7 for this pouch. Could be nine or $10, depending upon the tea. Our little recipe here, I would say because it's a recipe and it's very customized to Hogwarts and the Harry Potter feel, I'd say maybe about $6 for this guy, just because it is so customized. Our candle here, which is so absolutely amazing, it has such a divine scent. Because it's a handmade candle, and I'm guessing approximately six ounces, I would say maybe eight dollars for this little guy, but he could be more honestly, depending upon where you get it from and the size and such. And finally, our t-shirt. Love it so much. Okay, this is probably about twenty dollars for t-shirts. Could be even up to twenty-five in some areas. If I add all that together. I think that's about $80 in items if I've done my math correctly and this box which was gifted to me uh, is actually $45 so that's really really good you know value of the box okay let's rate the box I would say for the box overall the appearance the way that it came to me um, you know kind of everything about it, I would say probably 5 out of 5 possible house points to Slytherin because it came in a really nice condition and the box is personalized and the things in it were kind of personalized like towards Slytherin and that little note in there. And then so contents of the box, I would have to say probably 4.5 out of 5 points to Slytherin just because I find the t-shirt to be a little bit large as I am kind of small and I think these might have been in unisex or men's sizes so I got a medium and it looks a little big that would be really the only reason why I wouldn't give it five out of five I hope you enjoyed my unboxing thank you so much for watching and before you go please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new video Leave your um, thoughts below, please, because I so, so love to hear them. And I will be putting a link in the description to High Street Owl Posts so that you can go and get yourself a box. Thanks so much for watching.